it's not major for Sony at the CES if at all they aren't showing up this new camera lineup and this is the Sony's FDR AX33 hey guys welcome to phone radar and we are going to do a quick hands-on with this 4k camcorder and let you know what are our thoughts about this so this new FDR AX33 is a 4k camcorder which is lighter on the price when you compare that with the pricing of the last year's camcorders from Sony and this is almost half the price of those but there are some competitors and especially the Panasonic's new WX970 camcorder again which is a 4K camcorder is priced almost the same and it can actually capture 4K videos at 50p speed while the Sony's AX33 as is limited to 30p but 4K isn't bad at all so this comes with the Sony's XAVCS compress, uh, compression format and it allows for the high 100 Mbps bitrate and Sony is bo bo boasting about uh, the new BOSS that's the balanced optical steady shot system on the new camcorder uh, which is uh, helpful in stabilizing the entire lens unit and uh, not limiting that to the sensor area. So image stabilization is always crucial and very much needed and in a 4K video this is all being done because of this uh, BOSS and advanced user will be always happy to see this manual rings and buttons which are almost uh, likely and similar to what you see on the high-end professional cameras. Sony is again boasting about uh, the next feature that's the 4K photos that you can capture from this with the 8.3 megapixel resolution and uh, the display of this or the viewfinder in this can directly show you 2K or Full HD resolution videos for preview and uh, the Z's lens in this can take the magnification to up to 15x in 4K resolution while 20x in 2K resolution. It's always quite interesting to find that uh, just in a year how you can see the pricing to be turning down to almost half of the actual pricing that was seen last year so this would be very interesting to see how AX33 performs because it is priced like half of what uh, the last year's 4k camcorder of uh, Sony was uh, asking you the camcorder is smaller in size when uh, it's uh, kept beside the AX100 and uh, as you can see in the video the AX100 uh, looks quite larger and uh, the stems in the part of uh, the smaller 20 megapixel one 2.3 inch sensor it uses as well as some design uh, changes to the design are seen so alongside the AX33 Sony has also uh, introduced some of the other models such as the full HD camcorder named the HDR PJ670 which is uh, priced at uh, $700 and that can record 1080p videos at 60 frames per second and at 50 mbps bitrate but again when you are paying 300 extra you can directly go with a 4k camcorder which is the future for us at least so the PJ670 also uses the same BOSS stabilization, BOSS, and it also has a built-in projector. So that is the advantage against the AX33. The AX33 doesn't have a projector to directly show you the content, but still uh, we would be pretty fine with this uh, viewfinder on this uh, camera. So the like, like the AX33, Wi-Fi can be used to easily control up to five cameras as Sony has rolled out, rolled out that feature in the 2015 lineup of camcorders. And that is one of the best features of this camcorder apart from the 4K video recording with the image stabilization. So having Wi-Fi and connecting with the other camcorders and as well as support for the live stream via Ustream is one of the best things about uh, the Sony's AX33 camera, the FDR AX33. So this was the quick hands-on with the Sony's FDR AX33. You can uh, check out this entire video and uh, already guess how good the size is and how compact the uh, camera is made for a 4K video with the perfect image stabilization and stabilizing the entire camera unit and not just the sensor. So stay tuned on Phonida for the other CES 2015 videos and subscribe to it for more. Thank you.